Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson looking at uh, expanding brackets um, within algebra. Um, before I start, I'm just going to look at a couple of different questions just to show you um, where the rule comes from. So you might get questions like this. It might say, you know, a plus 6 plus a plus 6 plus a plus 6. Now, what you would have done in the past, okay, you would have said there's 1a, 2a, 3a's. So basically you're saying there's three lots of a's. 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, plus three lots of 6's. Okay, which then simplifies to being 3a plus 18. And in theory, that's what we do each time. But the questions won't look like that. They'll look like this, okay. They'll look like this. Um, expand and simplifies, that's what they'll actually say. And they look like this, three outside of a plus six. Now that's actually the exact same question because think about it, how many of these a plus sixes do I have? I've got three lots of them. I've got three lots of these things here. Now if we look at the way they ask this question and I guess that working out because the working out is exactly the same. I wonder what what we're actually doing. Well, it means we're looking at three lots of a, so three times a, and three lots of six, which is exactly the same as we're working out up in the front, in the first part. Now, I call this the rainbow method. I use these rainbows to help me remember to multiply both things inside these brackets. Okay. So then I get the final answer as above, 3a plus 18. Now, the biggest problem or the biggest mistakes I see when they get a question like 3a plus 6 is people give the answer of 3a plus 6, not 3a plus 18. So what do you think they've forgotten to do? Well, they've done the 3 times a, which is excellent, but they haven't done the 3 times 6, which you can see is a big problem. So that answer is a big no-no, okay? We must make sure to multiply, I might write that down, everything inside the brackets. Okay, so multiply everything that's inside the brackets, but whatever is at the front. So for the most part, this is pretty easy stuff. There are, of course, some trickier questions. Um, so let's look at EG2. I'm going to say this time expand and simplify. So we'll do for the, f for the first one, we'll do 3 outside of a plus 2. And we'll do 2 outside of 3q minus 4. And we'll go a bit more challenging, 2a outside of a plus 6. Okay. So let's do these three, three together. So for the first one, let's do our rainbow. We're doing three lots of a plus two. So three lots of a, which is three times a, which is three a, plus three lots of two, which is three times two is six. Now, if you wish to write the three times a plus the three times two, you certainly can. But to be honest with you, I think going straight to the simplified amount is probably better. Okay, It's quicker and it's better. Um, okay, let's do the next one. 2 times 3q. Well, 2 times 3q is going to be 6q. There's a minus sign. 2 times 4 is 8. And really, you're doing 2 times negative 4, which we know is negative 8 anyway. Okay, the last one here. 2a times a. Well, 2a times a from the last um, tutorial was 2a squared. The plus sign there, 2a times 6 makes 12a. Alrighty. So you can see that once you do a few of them, this is actually pretty straightforward. I'm now going to do one last set of questions, so for EG3. So again, have a pause at this time. Um, pause, try to do these questions, and then uh, and play it and see how you go. I'm just going to put simplify, which means expand and simplify. So we'll do 3q outside of q minus 1. We'll 
do 2a outside of 2a plus 3q. We'll do 5q outside of 2q plus 6 plus t. And then the last one, which would be a bit more challenging, minus 5x outside of 3x minus 4. That will be challenging, that last one. So again, what you can do, folks, is pause it now and then uh, have a quick go at these questions and play it. And fingers crossed you'll get them all right. Okay, welcome back. So let's do it. the first one. 3q times q is 3q squared. 3q times negative 1 is negative 3q. So the next one. 2a times 2a is 4 a squared 2a times 3q is 6q and this one looks more challenging I guess but it's not actually it's just got one extra number in the brackets so 5q times 2q well 5 times 2 is 10q times q is q squared 5q times 6 is 5 6 is a 30q and then 5q times t is going to be 5qt. That's it. Now the very last one, which is certainly a bit more challenging, minus 5x times positive 3x. Well, minus 5 times 3 is minus 15. x times x is x squared. Okay. Now we're doing negative 5x times negative 4. Well, minus 5 times minus 4. Well, hopefully you remember when I times two negative numbers together, it equals a positive number. So it actually equals positive 20. And I've just got the x there, so it's positive 20x. Okay? Guys, I hope this made sense. Um, if you need some extra work, let me know. But basically, that's your expanding brackets in a nutshell. Have a good day.